morning, Discover friends. Miss Judy here with another episode of Discover Time at the West End Library. Last week we talked about uh, snowflakes. And this week we're going to talk about something that you can make with snowflakes. And that is a snowman or snow people. Oh, he fell. There we go. This little snowman, he has some snow on his hat. Yeah, this is a kind of a traditional one with the hat and the scarf and the uh, carrot nose that you see in like movies and stuff. Well, today the book I'm going to read is called All You Need for a Snowman by Alice Shirtle. And the pictures were drawn by Barbara Lavallee. I hope I pronounced that right. All you need for a snowman. The first thing you need is what? Snow. Snowflakes. One small snowflake fluttering down. That's all you need for a snowman, except see the kids, they're waiting for the snow. Two more snowflakes, three flakes, four, five, six, seven thousand, eight million more. It takes a lot of snowflakes to make a snowman. Billions of snowflakes piled in a mound. Pat them and pack them and roll them around into one big ball. And that's all. One big, cold, well-rolled snowflake ball. That's all you need for a snowman. Except for a middle-sized ball and a small one. On top of that, you need a hat. A short, flat hat or a tall one. Some people put a hat on their snowman. Three hand-packed, triple-stacked balls of snow. Hat on top, where a hat should go. That's all you need for a snowman. Except for... A couple of bottle caps, round and flat. Stick them under a snowman's hat. Surprise! Snowman's eyes. That's all you need for a snowman's face. They use bottle caps. Other people use, like, lumps of coal or things like that. But what's in the middle? An empty space. That's the place where the carrot goes. If. A carrot is a snowman's nose. I guess some people use a carrot. But what about clothes? Walnut buttons, five in a row. Belt in the middle, boots below. Big wool scarf, broom to hold. Mittens, in case your hands get cold. Earmuffs, fanny pack. Something to read? That's absolutely all you need for a snowman. Sounds like a really well-dressed snowman. Oh, look at that snowman. He's huge. He's got the hat, the scarf, the mittens, a belt. Shoes. He's even got gigantic shoes. Uh-oh. 
Look in the sky again. One small snowflake falling. Then, soft white snowflakes filling the sky, floating down everywhere, piling up high. It's snowing again. Lucky kids, huh? And that's all you need for a snowman's friend. We made another one. The end. Now he's making a snow angel there. Speaking of snow, what happened to all that snow we had? We had all this big, white, fluffy, clean snow. And now it's gone. All we've got is these dirty little piles of snow laying around. And they're no fun. What's up with that? Okay, let me get my little snowman here to keep me company today. Our color, wait a minute, calendar first. Calendar, calendar. Okay, we are in the month of January, the first month of the year. As usual, today is Tuesday, Discover Day. But the day of the week we are talking about this month is Thursday. I can't think of anything special to say about Thursday except that it's the fourth work day of the week. And it's the day before Friday and everybody likes Friday because the day after Friday is the weekend. So there you go. Uh, let's see, the season is winter. And today, when we were coming out to the library, it was partly sunny, partly cloudy. We're supposed to get some cold weather this weekend. I don't think we'll get much in the way of snow, maybe some rain. But that's what the weatherman said. This is our January calendar. January, January 2021. Some people say 2021. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's say our days of the week together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is today, right here, this square. Tuesday, January 12, 2021. All right, now let's get on to our other stuff here. The color for January is white. White like snow or puffy white clouds. Our shape is the star. If it's not cloudy at night, you can look out at the sky and you can see the stars. If you have a telescope at home, you can see them even better. Our nursery rhyme for January is Jack be nimble. Let's try and say that together, shall we? Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Now remember we talked about this last week. I do not recommend that you do this because uh, you could get burned or you could knock the candle over and start a fire and that would not be good so we're not going to do that you could jump over the candlestick if there was no lit candle there that wouldn't hurt anything but you better ask for permission first okay oh here's a little poem i was going to read to you i'll get to that in a minute our number for january is Five, five, one, two, three, four, five. I have here some white pom poms. I thought they looked kind of like snow. Let's count them together, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. 
not. They look kind of like little white snowballs. Oops, that's why I thought that'd be fun to count today. Okay, I have this poem called Winter is Warmest. Winter is the warmest season. Oh, you say you want a reason? Is it warm when snow piles high and wide? It is if you're bungled up inside. When it's stormy, when it's raining, I stay indoors without complaining. Other people like to ski or sled down a hill, but not me. While you're bundling up in your jacket, I'm tearing open a hot cocoa packet. I don't mind summer, I'll make that clear, but winter is my favorite time of the year. Speaking of hot cocoa packets, we have a few of the January Crafts of the Month, the hot cocoa mug decorations. I think we've got about six left, so if you haven't gotten yours, be sure to have your grown-ups contact the library and we'll set some aside for you with your name on it, okay? All right, letters of the month. I forgot this old man. Eh, we can do him next week. Letters of the month. M. Mmm. Milk. I put milk on my cereal this morning. Moon. We had a full moon last month. Mouse. I think there might be a mouse in the house. Me. I am me. Me. Letter N. Mm, N. Nose. This is my nose. Night. It's a nice day out today. Oops. New. Is that a new sweater? O. This makes the O or the AH sound. AH. OF. Trying to think of a sentence with of, let's see. Do you know of things like that? Okay. Out. Out. Let's go outside and play. On. On. Put your coat on before you go out. Okay. Well, boys and girls, I think that's it. We have time to do this, old man. Five. Remember, we're doing five. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my high. With a knick-knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Well, uh, I think that's it. That's all Miss Judy has for today. Um... Remember to wear your masks, wash your hands, keep smizing, and I'll see you back here next week. Bye!